Okay, first video of 2020. Mm, the chick is with her family, Japan. Mm, as New Year's is a family holiday. In Hawaii, it's kind of regular, I guess. But in Japan, it's a family thing. So she's doing stuff with the family. I'm going to do and start keeping track of my opinion of, because I get a lot of chai fi dabs. What are my favorites? So, how to listen, and I will rank them. Now, the newest one, now this has got, um, you know, honeymoon period stuff, but it doesn't step wrong in it. It sounds great. The battery life so far is good. It's like using a file set. It's got more power and it sounds like it's got more energy. Maybe that's power and dynamics. I, I don't know. So I would put that at number one. That is the Yu, Yu Lu Mei kind of, I don't know how it's the A2. I'll, I'll try to put a list up. Um, that would be my favorite. My second favorite would be the, this is close, but that's essentially just a super high powered file and I dig it because I actually have file app on it. The second one would be the H8. That would be number two. Now if this, this is really nice sounding. Um, this is the Hi-Fi 1969. It doesn't have gapless for some reason. This does, but this doesn't. And some people mistakenly said it's the same OS. No, it's not. That's got that's got something called Seamless, and it's absolutely like Gapless as tested on Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. And this doesn't have that. There's an abrupt gap in between, so that is not Gapless. So, so close. Everything, the, the sound, it's beautiful. It's an absolute minimalist dream. If they update the firmware, I'd be all over that thing. Um, so it's not even on my list. That, that's unfortunate. Quite sad. Um, number three would be not the Zishan, which I thought it would be. I busted out the Colorfly U8. Now the way the Colorfly displays album art is probably better than mm, any player that I've ever used, except maybe uh, Astell and Kern SC100 or their <coughs> Hassel and Kern's expensive. Um, the U8. I hear that they're not great with firmware, so there, there goes a lot of people right there. But in its form, whatever firmware this is, I'm not having any issues. Um, it, it doesn't do anything wrong. I don't think it's going to be able to be upgraded because people said they kind of like, it's like abandonware. But going on sound, the You Love Me, it look, looks like You Love Me or something. The, the A2, the H8 should be the 1969 but it's not so one two and then I go with the color fly I actually think it sounds a little bit better than the Zishan and this is my this is my uh, I just love it it's it's so ghetto but it's got the spectrograph and it does sound genuinely really really good um, but I think the U8 actually does sound better I'm tripping on the ADI 2DAC FS and it's black background and I'm getting kind of a I'm kind of looking for that now with players like just and that's what the file M11 Pro is doing with the blackness of the background it's it's very dark compared to the regular M11 like no noise whatsoever and that you don't even need sensitive IEMs to be able to get that kind of feel um, this does that good not quite as well as the M11 Pro though but it's more powerful overall um, and then finally be the Acme this is like 99 bucks so some some people said it's got QC issues I'm not really sure what that is um, they can explain in the comments that they like I, I think it sounds good though I like the way it sounds so this is just strictly based on sound so one, one final time um, while I did head out after this video is done the A2 very 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 good stuff the H8 uh, it's never going anywhere so kind of like the MA 900s never going anywhere change the pads this is balanced how many MA 900s are balanced out there if you if you got one just send me a picture I think I got the only one <clears throat> I just like called out a bunch of MA 900 donors I haven't seen anybody else with the with the balance man the Dakoni pads it's pretty 70 millimeters you get the fuck out of here it sounds dope it's like it's got a very vinyl kind of grainy in the treble dig it number one number two would have been number three it really is number three 
number four and number five. And this is the first iteration of my top five chi-fi daps. And when I mean chi-fi daps, I mean not uh, mainstream, like a Fi or K and or I base. So where would I place those? Um, I guess I'll get into that later. Like kind of comparing. I, I don't don't really know. I'm super impressed with the A2. It's a shame that it's the price it's at, but it's dual AK44 and 97s, I think, and it's got the OPA, and it's super potent. Crazy, crazy, crazy potent. Um, made the mistake of putting this on that, and these will distort semi-easily, and don't need that for these. Um, so I'm out. You guys, Happy New Year. I did my first training. Got my knuckles nice and red. Feeling good. Um, day one. And then I'm going to go down and train. I put my gym together today. Life is good. Is it not? I submit to you. It indeed is. And I'm out.